is Rabbi Yitzhak David Smith, and let's learn something from this week's Parsha, Parsha of the Era. The Alta Rebbe says we should live with the Parsha. One of the interesting things we see is that some people are waking up and seeing that there seems to be very dangerous things going on in the world, things that can affect people and take away their freedoms, and making warnings about that. On the other hand, we have people that are mocking that and saying, oh, it's just a conspiracy theory, and so forth. Let's look at what the Parsha says. Two Malachim were sent by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, by the Abish, they sent two angels into Sdoim to warn Lot and his family that something was going to happen, that there was going to be a, uh, there was plans that the whole city was going to be overturned. And Lot had son-in-laws, and the Parsha says in, pa- in Perak Yudtes, the 19th chapter, Pasig Yud Dalet, the 14th verse, it says, by he that it was like a mockery. It was like a joke in the eyes of his son-in-laws. And because they looked at it as a joke, they decided that they weren't going to go along. They, they were not even interested in leaving the city. Now think about this. How innocently they just assumed that their life was going to continue the exact way it had been until now and that there's nothing that could possibly bad could happen because after all, Sudan was a very stable city for many, many years. And who are these two outsiders? They never heard of them before. They didn't even know their names necessarily. And don't, they don't live in Stein. They don't know anything about the politics and the, all the inner workings of the city. And two outsiders come and they say, by the way, this, I have you know, some warnings for you. And they thought it was a joke. The end result was that those two people decided that they weren't going to go and they ended off staying. And the rest is history. So, chas shalom that there should be anything that negative should happen to anybody. But if anyone's thinking of just blowing something off in arrogant laughter and saying, ha ha, it sounds like a joke, because they assume that since things have been a certain way for a certain number of years, it must be that way. And they assume they know more about what's going on because they're so inside the situation that they really think they know what's going on. So the answer the Parsha comes and tell us is, fool, wake up, look into what's being told to you, investigate it, take the time to understand it, and make realize that what decisions that you're making and blowing off, or things that you're not decisions you're not making by blowing off people's warnings, is endangering yourself, your families, your entire community, the entire Jewish people, and all the non-Jews around you. It is your responsibility to look into these things. Don't be like the son-in-laws of Lot, and just dis- dismiss things because you think you know better. Hatzlach Haraba, everyone should have only simchas and nachas and besuas tevis. We should be married to Gula, Vintus, Shlema, take it from Yad Mamish.